Hey guys, hope you're doing well. In this video, we're gonna learn about a new workflow action called set event, start date, and time. So this could be used in multiple types of use cases. Number one, it could be used for sending confirmations reminders for webinars. So if you have, if you are hosting webinars or if you are doing um, automation for someone who's hosting webinars, maybe you're a client, you could have like, let's say we have a landing page. I think I already have a yeah a webinar funnel. So I'll go to that page just to show you how to set it up. So, so let's say this is the form that people need to fill out and then purchase the webinar for 49 pounds. And then they will receive a confirmation. They will receive a confirmation email, SMS. They could be added to a pipeline stage and then they will be receiving reminders about the webinar, right? So how to do that? is a uh, is a really interesting way of actually showing you how this uh, action works so I'll, I'll create a new workflow saying let's say webinar purchased something so i'm gonna do when this order form is submitted this, this is a on uh, an order form by the way so i'm gonna say when the order form is submitted in funnel website webinar funnel page is and then the product is 49 pound webinar so what I can do is I can send them confirmation, I can add them to pipeline, I can get a notification myself. Then I could do an action called set event start date. So I'm gonna do, let's say this webinar is happening in 11 days, on the 20th June, 10 a.m. So I could, day, I could do a specific date time, 20 of June, and then I could just write down 10 here. So that's my webinar now. Based on this action, I could perform wait steps. So I could just do wait, just like how we do it for appointment confirmation reminders, right? So wait 20 hours or 24 hours before the appointment. Instead, we're gonna just we're just gonna do event appointment time one day before. So uh, until 24 hours before the webinar, and then send an email saying. Uh, reminder webinar in 24 hours okay then email body you can fill it out yourself so that's your reminder right there you're sending an email reminder on web uh, on the webinar that will happen on the 20th and then add another wait step add another one so you could do you could customize it according to how you want it the other way of uh, another way of using set event start time or date is you could do a specific day so you could do current day of month so let's say on the first day of every month so one second day of every month let's say two so let's say we want to send an email and keep sending it every month on the third day of the month right at let's say uh 10 o'clock something so we will do 10 o'clock, 10 a.m. So on the on the third of every month, third of January, third of February, third of March, and so on and so forth, we want to let's get rid of this one. Send them an email. So we're, we're gonna say, hey, this is the third. Let's say I'm se selling a subscription, and the subscription expires on the fifth. So I, on the third of every month, I want to send them uh like a reminder so uh hi following up on renewing the subscription and then you could give it some more information and context in the email body but for now that's it and now what i would do is i would add a go to step that goes on top again to this one so every every month uh every third day of the month the email goes out and then goes to the very beginning and then th this waits until the next of third of the next month so that's how it works that's how uh, you can use a specific day you, it, you could also do it for a specific day of week so let's say you could do like every sunday every monday like this will keep recurring every seven days so that's another way of using it you could also do custom field so you could have a custom field, which is which could be a date field or a text field, 
and based on that you could perform the same automation so this is very simple and it comes really handy if you could think about a use case you could use it in but this is really powerful guys i've just started using it because i'm going to do webinars so i'm setting it up for myself and also people i work with but for now hope this video was helpful and hope you understood the you know the efficiency and the power behind it and i will see you in the next one Thank you.